Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. I am sharing an updated version of an embellishment um, how-to that I did a few years back. Uh, lots of people enjoyed this share and I've just recently done something a little different so I thought I would give you guys um, an updated version of what I'm using um, to make a few more of these. So as you can see here, um, they're not cancelled stamps and um, they still look just as beautiful, I think, anyways, and I'm having so much fun making them. They're super easy to put together, as I had shown before. If you have not seen the previous video, don't worry about it. I will show you the steps in this video, if you keep watching, and I'll also show you the pieces that I'll be using to make it. So for this particular one, I'm using stickers, and I thought, you know, there's probably lots of people that don't have cancelled stamps, um, or at least not as many as I usually get, so... I thought stickers would be lovely for this and I'm using florals and botanical stickers that I think fit in these uh, tiny tags. So let me show you what I'll be using to make these and hopefully if you haven't done them before you'll get inspired to do them. So I've got these tiny tags that um, you know I wanted to use, these little pins and these come from Janine's shop at Jane and Scraps which I will link below. There's different colors that they come in. Um, of course, the stickers that I showed you, just select your favorite stickers, florals or botanicals or whatever. Um, I've got some buttons. So um, for this one, I'm just showing you like the pinks and browns and whites. But of course, you know, it's a good way to reuse buttons or repurpose them, I should say. And then all your little ribbons and, and scraps of um, fabrics and stuff like that. So I love to repurpose things and of course this was one of the most fun ways to do it. I find it so relaxing. So let me just show you what I'm going to do. So for this also I used a stamp and I used a script, script stamp that I have. So you can see the background there. It just gives it a nice detail to the tag. Now you could certainly coffee stain or tea stain your tag or you know if you have tags of different colors you wouldn't need to do that. But um, I find that adding a little bit of, um, of the script print to this looks really nice. So I'm just going to show you how I quickly just add the stamp to these ones. I like to use a piece of paper that I can repurpose into something else so it will already have you know whatever the excess of the stamp is on it because it is a large stamp and um, you know use whatever ink you have whatever your favorite color is and these can all be color coordinated or you could just do whatever which um, is just as fun so as you can see here I'm just adding a little bit of ink to my stamp and then I'll just, um, you know, kind of gather them together and stamp them at the same time. And it doesn't matter if it comes out perfect or not, uh, because this is the whole fun part of the embellishment is that you just have fun. So here I've just, um, see how nice it just turns out. I just love it. Again, I could distress this with, um, you know, distress inks or coffee staining or spraying, etc. Now I'm going to look for the sticker that I want to use for this tag. Now this tag is small um, and I mean they come in different sizes of course and you can make your tags in different sizes and styles but for this particular one I'm just looking for stickers that fit the size of um, you know the tiny the tiny tag. Um, so I think for this particular one I find um, a flower one and then I'll also end up going with like a I guess like a leaf pattern if I remember correctly and I can't wait to make so many more of these you guys because like I said they're so fun I add them to my journals I add them to happy mail and swap mail and I love it because I get to reuse so many pieces and as I said before I was using cancelled stamps um, but now that I've got these stickers I thought I might as well put them to good use and you know it's kind of nice that you can move the embellishment around because of the clip as well so it's not a permanent um, embellishment if you, you know, were that kind of person that are not sure where you want to add it. It is perfect because of the little um, clip. I'm calling it clip, but I guess it's like a safety pin of some sort. You could also use that. <laughs> so as you can see here, I've just added the stickers. And now I'm just going to gather the pieces and put it together. So I'll put a little music for you guys to listen to while I finish this up and then uh, as always, questions, comments, please leave them below, and I hope you enjoy the share.
I just love how they turned out and I will show you a few pictures at the end just so you can see a little bit of a close-up of some of the ones I had also finished before. I did share this on Instagram and um, if you guys haven't uh, followed me there go for it. That's where I usually post all my things first before I end up making a video. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the share. Bye!